Hi guys, it's Nicole. So it's officially one week since I had my gastric bypass surgery. So I thought I would check in with you and share with you um, what this past week has been like. Um, so I have little clips of each day that I'll um, insert and you can see it's, it's quite a roller coaster. Hi guys, so I'm doing really well. They're actually sending me home in like the next hour. So I was right, only one night in the hospital, yay. Um, one of my incisions is still bleeding a little bit, but we think it's gonna be okay. Just, you know, covering it with gauze and whatnot. Um, I'm eating, like I thought in the hospital, I just have clear liquids, but they brought me a um, pureed egg and some yogurt, and it's really good, but I cannot eat very much of it. She gives us a little point. Um, but I'm trying to stay on top of my water um, like they gave me some pills and cut them all up, but I can only take one little thing every 15 minutes. I've been taking my pills since like, well, for about two hours now. <laughs> I'll be time for more pills by the time I'm finished with these. But, um, anyway, yeah, so I don't have any oxygen on right now, but my sats are still kind of low and they, they are really low at night. So they're sending me home with oxygen, but I mean, I guess that's better than not breathing <laughs> well. Um. Yeah, so it's, overall, it's been a good stay. Everybody's been really nice. Okay, well, I'll um, chat with you more when I am at home. Hey guys, I'm back at home. Um, <clears throat> apologize for my raspiness. I don't know. It's like my voice just gave out. It was fine earlier. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so just got home about an hour or so ago. Um, I'm on oxygen. <clears throat> they want me on oxygen continuously until my next doctor's appointment. It's apparently <clears throat> kind of common among people who've had abdominal surgery that they can't take deep breaths afterwards, so their sats drop. It's nice to be home. I tried my first puree dish. It was, I just mixed ricotta cheese and tomato sauce and Italian seasoning and some salt. Like it's really the bastardized version of the um, ricotta bake, the full ricotta bake, um, but it was still really good. I only took like, I don't know, three or four bites small small bites i've been drinking my water pills and water are like my new full-time job so like so many pills i have to cut in like quarters because you can't swallow a whole pill basically i'm really really tired i'm gonna take a nap here in just a few minutes and thank you guys so much for watching hi guys it's nicole um i do not have my oxygen right now i just realized um, i'm still on oxygen it's it's officially I guess day two post-op, so I had my surgery on Thursday and it's now Saturday. Um, I think my last video was probably really optimistic because I felt good in the hospital and then I felt good when I first got home. But last night, well, I, I started throwing up like horrible violent retching. It happened seven times between midnight and 7 a.m. I haven't thrown up since, it's almost been about 12 hours. But I haven't eaten a darn thing. I can't. Um, I've drank very little water, so I'm a little worried I'm going to get dehydrated. Um, but I'm still so nauseated. Oh my goodness. Um, earlier, my stomach just, like, my whole abdomen just hurt. Um, I don't know if it was probably a combination of the incisions and then just my muscles from the violent wrench and violent retching. It was just, oh gosh, you guys, it was bad. Oh. Um, I hope that that doesn't happen again. In a little bit, I'm going to maybe try a little bit of protein pudding I made. Um, I don't know. I have to get some food in me. But, like, I'm not hungry. Oh, my gosh. I'm the exact opposite of hungry. I want, the, just thinking about food makes me want to throw up. Um, yeah, my mom's been here with me the whole time. It's been nice to have somebody. Um, but I just took, like, a three-hour nap, and it was it was really nice. But as soon as I woke up, that nausea hit me again, and it's just... I have a scopalamine patch on. I don't know if we can see that. And then um, I've also taken Zofran. But I'm still really nauseated. Um, I don't know what to do about that. Man, things were going so well. And then it's like I hit this wall. Um, but I'm in the bathroom because I was feeling a little sick. But nothing happened. So that's good. Uh, um, I am exhausted. My dogs don't know what to do with me. They just keep like laying by me and then getting up and sniffing me and then laying, they're really cute. I think they, they sense that I'm not feeling well, but it's kind of stressing them out too, which I feel bad about, but 
Um, I just got flowers delivered from one of my sisters. So nice. Everybody keeps texting to check in on me. Again, I feel so loved. And I haven't felt any judgment from anyone, so that's great. Um, that's I'm going to end that here for now. So I'm just in this land of nausea. It's not a fun place to be. I want, I want my return ticket home. Hi guys, it's Nicole. So I'm now on post, or sorry, day three post up. Um, last night was actually a pretty good night. I got like eight hours of sleep. I never, I never sleep that much, so that was great. Um, I only woke up a couple times to go to the bathroom, but no vomiting like the night before, so that, that was a welcome change. And I'm not hungry at all. So day before yesterday, when I first came home, I think I had a total of like 350 calories that day. Yesterday I had like 17 calories, no protein, so that's not great. Um, but I'm gonna try right now to force myself to eat this. It's protein pudding, so I just mixed um, the sugar-free cheesecake flavor um, jello packet. I mixed that with um, a vanilla core power um, vitamin, what's it called, protein drink. My brain isn't working. Um, so hopefully, I don't know, hopefully I can eat this. I, I'm not hungry at all, but I'll try. And then, anyway, so it's just plugging along. Things aren't that bad. I have some some abdominal pain, like from my sutures, um, or, you know, the incision sites. <coughs> oh, and I have a bit of a cough still. Um, anyway, yeah, so, so far so good. Um, just a little, oh, just very tired probably take another nap here in a minute hi guys it's Nicole so I had my gastric bypass surgery on Thursday and today it's Monday I think that means I'm post-op day four um, things have been going okay that first night at home was really rough because I threw up for like seven hours straight um, I've been pretty nauseated since but no I haven't thrown up since Friday night um, I'm having a really hard time eating anything. It just, everything sounds disgusting and I get really nauseated just even thinking about food. Um, just a minute ago, I did about 10 minutes on the treadmill. I'm trying to do little 10 minute sections on the treadmill. Um, I'm still on the oxygen. Um, and then I'm doing my incentive spirometry as regularly as I can. I'm finally up to that goal. I just, you know, I just feel unwell. I, I think that, I don't know, I was having a really good day that, that day one post-op when I left the hospital, like I was feeling great. And I don't know if I overdid or if just, I, I don't know, but just since then I've just kind of felt like crap. I don't have a fever or anything, so I'm not worried about infection. Um, I just, I feel a lot of pressure and I don't know if that's gas or I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I'm really anxious right now and there's a lot of like regret that I'm having. I don't know if I did the right thing. I hope that I did, but my emotions are all over the place. Um, I do feel a little bit like a lazy slug. Like there's a lot of things I want to do, but I just have no energy. Hi guys, it's Nicole. So I am post-op day five. Um, Last night was really rough. <laughs> I almost went back to the ER because um, I couldn't drink or eat anything. And dr I mean, the biggest problem was I couldn't drink anything. Like I was so nauseated and just in pain. Um, I couldn't lay down to sleep. I had like horrible reflux. So I had to sleep sitting up and um, yeah, I didn't really sleep, but I called my doctor this morning and we got some different medications going and I think things are a little, a little better. Um, I am able to at least drink something. They want me to be on liquids for, I don't know, the next little while <laughs> before I try purees again. Um, so I'm just drinking some Gatorade Zero and some water and then maybe I'll try a protein drink in a little bit if I'm able to keep that down. Hydration and protein have been crappy the past few days and I just, I have a lot of anxiety about that, but I'm just trying to just forget about it and just trying to do my best and just realize that it will come with time. But yeah, so I am doing a little better right now. So 
my mom has been here with me almost the whole time. Um, she slept here the past four nights. I feel so bad for her pups and my stepdad, but she just went home and is going to be away for a while. So I'm like on my own for the first time since surgery. Um, but I think, I think we'll be fine. I mean, I'm on my own, but with my dogs, but I think we'll be fine. Um, yeah, so I did weigh myself this morning and I'm down nine pounds since surgery. Um, so that's a total of, I'm down, oh my gosh, I can't even do math. I'm down 22 pounds since I started the pre-op diet. So that's pretty good. Um, of course, now that I'm being, am able to drink fluids, that might go back up a little bit, but anyway, I just wanted to see something positive. And so the scale was a little positive for me. Um, and I just, my, my mind is all over the place right now. Like I'm not having, I'm not able to easily concentrate lately. I don't know. I guess it's lack of nutrition, lack of sleep, lack of, I don't know, pleasure in life. I don't know, <laughs> but. Um, at least I'm smiling and kind of laughing. Yesterday was so bleak. Oh my gosh, last night got so bad. I just was so angry at myself for having this surgery. I was just, it was just so full of regret. Um, I still am not completely um, seeing that I, you know, did the right thing yet. <laughs> I'm still having lots of regret, but I'm not completely full of regret right now. And, and you know, cursing myself and thinking about how stupid I was. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully that, that whole thing just turns around and I, I feel good about this decision soon. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Nicole. It's post-op day six, um, post-op from gastric bypass surgery. I'm feeling a lot better today. Um, a little nauseated, but nothing like the past few days. So um, I am drinking a little bit of chicken broth right now. Um, I'm not a fan of chicken broth, but it does taste pretty good to actually have some, something other than Gatorade or water. Um, so, and I'm drinking the Bariatric Pal, um, branded chicken broth that has like 15 grams of protein. So getting some protein in because man, past few days have been like no protein. <laughs> still on the oxygen. It's still annoying the crap out of me. So, um, I slept in my bed last night, like actually slept and I didn't have to sleep sitting up, like slept like a normal person in bed. So that was nice. Um, my mom went home last night, so it was just me and the pups and it just, it, it feels good to be getting back to normal or at least somewhat. Um, I'm, I'm tolerating fluids really well. I have been drinking a lot of water. I've been really thirsty um, and I haven't felt like too much restriction. I know that I've at times taken pretty big gulps and um, I mean, I do feel a little like pressure and I, that reminds me that I need to sit more, but yeah, everything's been going pretty well now. Thank goodness. I think, I think we're um, out of the woods um, and I'm going to try some puree later today, maybe some refried beans or, or something like that. Um, just to see how my, my stomach tolerates it. But, um, yeah, so tomorrow will be one week post-op. I'll do like a, a bigger video. Um, but just wanted to check in and, and let you all know that things are, are looking up. I think that the biggest question that people are probably wanting to know is, do I regret it? <laughs> um, I did mention in one of those clips that I was regretting it, um, and I was at the time. I will say that things are a little more positive right now, so um, I don't think I regret it, but I think it's too early for me to really um, say one way or another. Um, today, yeah, so today's post-op week one or the end of post-op week one um I'm down like 23 pounds so that's pretty good um not 23 pounds in the week I'm down 10 pounds in the week I'm down 23 pounds um basically in the past month with the pre-op diet um I'm still technically on oxygen at home 
Um, I talked to the nurse today and she agreed that as long as my stats were above 90 during the day, I could probably get away without wearing the oxygen, but I still need to be wearing it at night because my stats do tend to dip low. So that's why I don't have it on right now. Um, I ate some yogurt yesterday and then this morning I ate some refried beans, so I'm starting to eat the purees instead of just liquid. Um, I'm doing pretty well on my water and drinking a lot of Gatorade Zero as well. Um, and even though I'm not eating that much, I have done pretty well protein-wise, at least yesterday. Okay, yesterday was probably the first day I did okay on protein. So yesterday I got 63 grams of protein um, via the yogurt I ate and then um, I drank a protein shake and then I drank some collagen peptides. So um, at least I met my protein goal for the first time. Um, I'm, I've been meeting, I've been getting all my vitamins in um, the past couple days. Um, still struggling a little on pills just because you have to break them into small pieces and take them every 15 minutes and it just, sometimes time just gets away from you and then it's time for the next pill. <laughs> and they sent me home on quite a few different medications so things have been pretty okay. I've watched like everything that exists on Netflix and I'm a little bored with that. So tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment. My mom's taking me to it. And then afterwards we're probably gonna go, I don't know, shopping or something because I just, I need to get out. I am just climbing the walls here. Um, my incisions are doing pretty well. Um, I do occasionally have a little bit of incisional pain but it's not bad like I haven't taken painkillers killers for a couple of days I haven't taken Tylenol for a couple of days like that's been pretty well pretty good um, my nausea is pretty much resolved um, I do have some food adver uh, aversion aversion sorry that word was hard for, for some reason um, I just nothing really sounds good except like a sandwich and I can't have a sandwich um, so I'm having cravings for things I cannot have and like nothing that I can't have that's pureed sounds great um, I wouldn't say my tastes have changed I'm just kind of bored of what I can have so anyway that's just that's very minor so in summary I think this was a good decision I I the jury's still out I I still have some maybe regrets so um, check back with me in a couple of weeks or maybe a week I don't know when I'm gonna do another video um, but I will say that things have improved dramatically over the past few days um, for a while there it was it was bad like I was not doing well um, which was such a surprise because right after surgery I felt great when I went home I felt great and then just things went downhill fast and um, I don't know I wish I could give you a better like a better summary as to whether I'm I'm excited or not um, but anyway right now things are just progressing I think I might go try some blended chicken or blended tuna. It sounds awful, but I do need to eat more. Um, so I'm going to go try that. God, I wish I could have a sandwich, but it's okay. One day, like in six weeks, maybe I can have a little tiny piece of the sandwich. Maybe. We'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I promise I, I sound just like a downer right now, but things are getting better. I do... I am feeling better um, and I am I am excited for what's to come but um, yeah so please like and subscribe leave some comments below do all the YouTube things and then I'll check back in with you guys later bye